There were thousands of stories at the Carry the Load March, including the long history of one Dallas family who has a service to our country. Fox 4's Saul Garza introduces us to the Arundondo family. The whole family, we're remembering the whole family. On this Memorial Day, Robert Arredondo is remembering and paying tribute to his family. He and his two brothers are first-generation Texans. We're walking for two brothers that served at the same time in Vietnam. People remember the Sullivans, Saving Private Ryan. There's other families that have had more than one family member serving in combat. Older brother, Master Sergeant Federico Arredondo, and younger brother, Army Specialist Jesse Arredondo, were stationed 25 miles apart. In December of 1968, he says they shared a special time together during the war. The older brother, because he was a Master Sergeant and he had already been in the service for a while, told my younger brother, come to the base, we'll have Christmas together. They did. But sadly, a couple of months later, younger brother Jesse was wounded in combat. He died three weeks later, older brother Federico by his side. That was good for us to have what they call closure. My little brother got to tell him what happened. And unfortunately, other families, you just get what's wrote to you. You don't know the real story. Today, Arredondo beams with pride over his three sons. The youngest, Lieutenant Colonel Reino Arredondo, is a West Point graduate. He's served three tours in Iraq and is currently in Afghanistan. He'll be back home Christmas, and we just pray. We pray for all of them. Uh, I don't want to say, oh, God, bring my son home. I want to say, God, bring them all back. His oldest son has been in the Army Reserves for 20 years, his middle son, an Army Ranger. Uh, we're very proud. This is our country. Which is why Arredondo wants Americans to remember what today is really about. Refocus. Uh, we can celebrate all of that again in July the 4th. But today, yeah, I'd like for us to remember those that did give up their lives and, and bodies for uh, our country. In Dallas, Saul Garza, Fox 4 News.